Hi, I'm Jen, one of the librarians here at NIC. And in support of your English research assignment, I wanted to share with you how to access some of the library's resources that you might want to consult when doing your research. Before you can find literary criticism, it's important to know what it is. Library criticism is the in-depth analysis of a literary work, a novel, a short story, a play, or a poem. Usually it's in the form of a critical essay. Literary critics might examine a particular uh, literary work or an author's writings as a whole. So why is it important? Well, reading other people's work and how they've evaluated a novel can help you define your own views. Perhaps they see aspects of the work that you didn't notice, or they can provide a historical background that explains why a work was written the way that it was. It's important to note that many critical sources discuss an author's overall writing, and they may not even mention the specific work that you've read. This is especially true for things like poems and short stories. But this sort of criticism can still be useful if you apply the overall interpretation of an author to your particular work. So, where exactly do you find literary criticism? So, you want to start at the Library and Learning Commons um, homepage, and we'll start over here at the Advanced Search. When you um, get to this screen and you're not on campus, you'll be asked to log in for full access. So you'll click that, it'll ask you for your user ID and password, just hit log on, and then um, you'll only have to do that once. And now when you use the library, um, you'll be able just to um, do your navigating from here. So this is the discovery search, and um, I'm going to just put in the words Monkey Beach, and then I'm just going to hit search. So this 75 results, you'll see in here books, you'll see in here articles, this searches everything. Now, um, if we wanted to look over here, we could choose scholarly peer-reviewed journals. So that would be um, academic articles that are about Monkey Beach. So you'll see we went from 71 down just to nine here. Okay, so um, with these articles, if I don't want to read them right away, I can just click here and I can check out the abstract about um, what the novel is about. Um, or I can click on the PDF and I can read it right away. And there it comes up. Okay. Now, um, if I want to read about Monkey Beach and uh, the literary criticism, let's put, or let's put also for literary analysis. Okay, and I'm putting um, the quotation marks around it just to keep all the words together. So let's hit search again. And so now I've just come up with four. But if I look here at the periodical, it's the University of Toronto Quarterly, Canadian Literature. So those are all the types of periodicals that you know are going to have um, literary criticism in them. Now over here, I've got clicked in um, available at NIC. As an NIC student, you don't have access just to our library. You also have access to all of the titles and articles in the libraries in BC. So if I unclick this, you'll see that I went from four up to 18. So um, through the interlibrary loan program, you also have access to these articles too. And they might be at UBC, they might be um, at VIU. So if I want to get access to this article, I again, I can look here and see, um, read the abstract, see what it means um, there. And then I can click, where can I get this? So once I click that, it takes a second, and I can click submit an ILL request for the form. This just asks me for my first and last name, my NIC user ID, and then once I hit submit, 
either um, same day, next day. It's usually pretty quick. Um, you'll get an article sent, a link to an article sent um, to whatever email it is that you included in your form. And then that um, will be yours to do with what you'd like. You can save it, print it. Um, so yes, that's available to you. So again, I accessed all of that by unclicking this available at NIC. If this remains clicked, I just have a few of the results, but I can read these ones right away. So another thing I might wanna do is look at Eden Robinson. So you might remember um, from research in the past, if I put in Robinson Eden, then I'm going to get um, Eden Robinson's works here. But what I actually wanna do is go Eden Robinson and then do that literary criticism or analysis because I want in my search for Eden Robinson to be my subject. So here I've got, um, again, criticism about Eden Robinson. So Canadian literature, literary criticism, you can see it all there. And again, so I've got four here, but if I unclick this and I look at what's available to me from other um, institutions, then I see that I've got um, double the amount. Um, if I want, if I only have time to um, look and find the abstracts and find the articles themselves, then I can add them to a folder. Let's see, we want to add these to our folder. And then if I scroll up here, I've got my EBSCO folder. And then I want to look at all of these. I want to look at them later. So I can click that, hit email. And then I, again, I just add in my email. And then once I hit send, um, a link with all of those um, articles are going to come to my um, email there. So that is a useful thing. So if you don't have time to read your articles at that moment, again, you can just add them to that folder and then receive them in a batch through your email where you can um, read them at another time. So um, all of these articles here, um, this is one set of databases. So I can also go into um, a set of databases over here um, that are Canadian content. So I can run my search in this just from, again, clicking on advanced search, It'll take me to this screen. And then once I've run that search and found anything that I'd like there, I can go over here and look at more Canadian content. So all I have to do is click that button there. And then the search terms that I used, Eden Robinson and literary criticism or literary analysis are gonna follow me over here. So um, I can also do peer reviewed. So if I wanna look at those scholarly articles, I also have control over um, the publication date. I can look at subject, literary criticism. Let's grab that. So now all 20 of these academic articles I have full access to. If I want to read the abstract of those, they don't have that magnifying glass. Instead, I just click abstract. And I can read the abstract here or I can look at the full text. The same thing if I don't have time to read all of the articles, I can click them and then I can go up to a file folder, click my file folder for all of those contents and then email it to myself. So those um, are, again, they look a little bit different, but it's the same idea, put in your email address and continue on. Um, in here, if I click on an article title, I can go down here and I can get the citation. So for APA, for MLA, I can copy and paste that into my, um, into my Word document for my annotated bibliography. 
The same for here. If I click on the title and I click site, I can choose my, um, my citation style and again, copy and paste that um, into my annotated bibliography. Uh, you can also add um, additional search terms into here. So let's say I wanted to do, um, let's say I want to do Monkey Beach. And let's say I wanted to do feminism. So, um, so I can include feminism and feminist. I'm just going to go feminists and put that little um, asterisk there. And then I can hit search. So this one I can see um, is going to deal with feminism. It's going to talk about that somewhere in this article. And I can see here it was from the University of Toronto in 2012. And then you can read that there. Um, you also can get help with putting your annotated bibliography together by going under citation guide. Here we have style guides to make sure that um, your paper meets um, your style there. We also have annotated bibliography examples. So you can go ahead and visit that area as well. If you do need assistance with writing, you can come to writing support and either set up an appointment with an English faculty member or use RightAway for our um, online writing support. If you need research help, you can email us here, you can phone us, or you can use AskAway, which is our live chat reference service. Please do feel free to email me um, directly if you have any questions, um, or you can phone me. So my email again is jennifer.evans at nic.bc.ca, or you can email me or phone me at 250-334-5097. All right, thank you very much. That's a short introduction to how to find literary criticism.